everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet this very simple pattern for a washcloth. I've called it In a Crunch Washcloth because it is worked with a stitch pattern called the Crunch Stitch, which you can see here in my brown and also in my uh, off-white color washcloth. As you can see, it is a very dense stitch. It has a nice subtle texture to it, which makes it great for working in a washcloth pattern, such as the one that I'm going to bring you today. So for your pattern, you're going to need about one ball of the Bernat Handicrafter Cotton or a Handicrafter Cotton of your choice. Uh, it's a worsted weight cotton, 100%. I find that's the best uh, for washcloth patterns. Um, you're going to need about 60 to 70 yards for your washcloths. Now, I used three different color balls of the Bernat Handicrafter and I made all three washcloths using the three balls. In the pattern, I only give you the instructions for the solid color washcloths, but don't hesitate to experiment a little bit with color in them because uh, it's a good pattern to kind of um, mix up and make it your own. Okay, so uh, you're going to need once again about 60 to 70 yards of your favorite worsted weight crochet cotton. You're also going to need a five millimeter crochet hook as well as a yarn needle and scissors for weaving in your ends. A copy of the free written crochet pattern can be found on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com and I'll provide the direct link for you in the description of this video. If it's your first time, please don't hesitate to subscribe to this channel. It's updated weekly with free crochet patterns and stitch tutorials and uh, as well check out some of the other videos. There's a number of other washcloth video tutorials here on my channel. So thank you once again for joining me and uh, I'm going to grab my hook and a little bit of yarn and we'll get started in learning how to crochet the In A Crunch washcloth. So as I mentioned, this is a very simple pattern. The pattern is worked in rows and it's essentially made up of single crochet stitches and slip stitches. So what you're going to do is you're going to start by making your slip knot and you're going to make a foundation chain and your foundation chain will have a total of 31 chains. There's 12, 25, 30 and 31. Uh, just so you know, in the tutorial today I'm going to be using the Blue Jean Handicrafter Cotton. In my crochet pattern in the photos and that here, I have used a soft brown, an off-white, and a blueberry color, all Bernat Handicrafter Cotton, in case you are wondering which colors I used in mine. But again, use any colors your heart desires. So after you've worked 31 chain stitches for your foundation chain, you're going to start in the second chain from your hook, so one, two, and into that second chain, you're going to work a single crochet stitch. Into the next chain, you're going to work a slip stitch. You're now going to repeat that all the way across. Single crochet into the next stitch, slip stitch, into the next. You're going to continue that all the way across and you're going to finish by working a slip stitch into your final chain. So single crochet, slip stitch in each chain all the way across, ending with that slip stitch. At the end of row one, you're going to have a total of 30 stitches. 
and you're going to chain one and turn your work. You're now essentially going to repeat that first row. So you're going to start, the chain one does not count as a slip stitch, uh, as a stitch at all. And into your first stitch, which was a slip stitch, you're going to work a single crochet, then slip stitch into the next. So it's exactly the same as the row below. You're gonna repeat that all the way across. Single crochet, slip stitch, single crochet, slip stitch. You're going to end with a slip stitch in your final stitch, chain one, and turn your work. And that's actually all you're going to do for the body of this washcloth. So how easy is that? So single crochet, slip stitch all the way across. You're going to work about 40 rows of that uh, or work until your washcloth reaches its desired length. If you wanted to make this washcloth larger, or smaller, you're going to add or subtract multiples of two to your foundation chain and that will allow you to adjust the width of it. So you're going to continue that row, single crochet, slip stitch, repeat that all the way across, chain one, turn your work and continue. And uh, you're going to do that for about 40 rows and then there's no need to fasten off and we will work on the simple edging for this washcloth. Go ahead and work your 40 rows and then meet me back here. So once you've worked your 40 rows, you're going to have a piece that looks like this. You can see that crunch stitch texture coming through. We're now going to work a simple edging around our washcloth just to kind of finish it off. I said there was no need to fasten off at the end of this row. What you're going to do is you're simply going to chain one and turn your work and you're going to begin your edging by simply working a single crochet in each stitch all the way across the top. When you come to your final stitch you're going to work three single crochet stitches into that corner stitch. So single crochet into each stitch all the way across. I'm just into my corner stitch so I'm going to work three single crochet stitches into my corner stitch and that's going to bring you along to this rough edge. Along the rough edge, you're going to evenly work 20 single crochet stitches across. Now you can adjust this number, just remember that whatever you do along the one rough side, you're going to do the same along the opposite side. So if you'd like, you can adjust that number. It's really up to you. For me, what sometimes helps if I'm having trouble keeping my stitches even, place a stitch marker in the middle of your work and then that uh, you can then place half your stitches on one side, half your stitches on the other. So um, to work along the side, I'm just uh, evenly placing my hook across. There's no uh, easy stitches to work into. You're just working stitches evenly along the side of your washcloth. So you're going to work 20 stitches along the rough edge. When you come to your next corner, you're going to work three stitches. Work all the way across the bottom of your washcloth, single crochet in each stitch, three stitches in your corner, 20 more single crochet along that other rough side, two stitches in your final corner and join with a slip stitch in your first stitch. And that's all there is to working this in a crunch washcloth. So thank you so much for joining me and uh, until next time, happy crocheting. Bye.